And so Sean said, I think we're going to experience our Japanese Y2K moment here. Okay. Favorite memories, favorite. Just, yeah. So in 2019, I think, the Japanese emperor <coughs> decided to retire. And that wasn't something that emperors do. Well, he kind of set up a constitutional crisis by saying, yeah, no, I'm retiring. And my son's going to be the next emperor. And it's going to happen on this date. Well, that caused a very small flurry of conversations in our company. Um, one particularly smart international developer, a guy named Sean Steele, was concerned. And he was concerned because in his work with international software at Microsoft, he knew that the Heisei era that we'd been living in since 1989 was the Japanese calendar. So unlike Gregorian, the Japanese calendar begins on day one of an emperor's reign and ends on their last day. Okay? And while Japan uses the Gregorian calendar for a lot of stuff, they use the Japanese calendar for a lot of legal stuff and traditional stuff. So it's critical, it's crucial. Imagine marriage licenses, insurance policies, driver's licenses, I'm gonna go on and on and on, where it has to be there, it has to function. Okay. And so Sean said, I think we're gonna experience our Japanese Y2K moment here. Okay? And I caught wind of that through somebody who was reporting to me, who was working with Sean and others on some international stuff. Um, and uh, I said, okay, this is bigger than it's being discussed. And so I took it up upstairs and said, we have a, an issue that we need to work on. And um, we determined that I needed to have the entire company rally around the notion that we needed to take that year, we had a year, to take that year to uncover all of the places where the calendar needed to be updated, <clears throat> where there was old code that needed to be replaced with new code. We did not know what the new name was going to be, so we did not know what to call it, but we could certainly put it in a placeholder and do a bunch of other kinds of testing to confirm that we were going to be good. 